Let's now talk about one of my favorite Grasshopper user objects, uh, which is the panel, and how the panel could be used for uh, organizing your definition. So let's go to params, input, and click the panel, drag and drop onto the canvas, and we have it. There's one way to call your call the panel. Another way, it's a shortcut, is double clicking on the canvas and using double slash and clicking enter. And the third way would be using quotes and uh, one-sided quotes, and then just typing whatever you want to have uh, within the panel. What is the information you want to have? And I would say five, and then click enter. So these are the three ways and. Uh, depends on your mood perhaps which one is the most convenient at the time so that's how we call the panel a panel can be used uh, for introducing data into your definition so it's that's that's why it's in the parameter tab right so parameters they are the containers of data or they introduce data from somewhere else into grasshopper definition so let's say I want to use this with five instead of a uh, number slider for Z coordinate. And I can also use the panel to read the output to see what is inside. So these both ways are very useful. For me personally, the output is crucial just to see, to be able to read and understand what is happening inside there. And there is another way that panels could be used. So basically for adding information uh, like text, annotation, um, comments to your definition. So let's double click this panel and just let's write something. Type in my first definition. Constructing a point. Then uh, don't click enter here you need to just click somewhere on on canvas because if i if i click enter um it's just gonna create a multi-line text to just click somewhere else on canvas and then you have the text similarly to the scribble if you right click on the panel you can change font settings to something that you maybe prefer more if you zoom in can, uh, the panel is a zoomable component, so if you zoom in enough, you can access this quick, small quick menu that you can, let's say, uh, scale your text, the, the size of your um, of your text, and also the font. You can pick another font here, um, and uh, this is a bit different. This is the path. It's not. We're going to not discuss it here. You can also change the color. So this part is similar to groups. And again, if you have some sort of color code uh, within your definition, it's helpful to see that, okay, in the bluish one, there's some sort of information. There's that type of information. Or let's say um, the input panel, let's right click on this one. And let's just change the color to white. So let's say the input panel, which contains some sort of input data is always white and the one that I read the output is uh, is the yellow the default one and then the text is within a bluish one so in, co uh, in contrast to uh, scribble when you zoom out the panel text quickly disappears way quicker than the, the scribble text so this is something to consider so maybe uh, text that you would write in the panel could be a larger comment uh, meant to be read more in detail when zoomed in. And the scribble would be used for a title which could be read when you actually zoomed out. So let's add this comment to this group. Let's select the panel, right click on the group, and select add to the group. Now we have this group with uh, lots of comments. You can also name your panels. Let's say put. So if you right click on your uh, panel, you can type here. There are also 
of course some uh, a bit more advanced settings here but uh, in this particular tutorial i just wanted to focus on how panel is used for organizing your definitions so i think that's it and uh, let's move to the next one